What's up everyone? Today we are at the Cookout Southern 500 in Darlington. So I know, yes, I don't have my beard anymore, but uh, we are going to do a video on basically an experience at a NASCAR race. So right now, this is basically all the stuff they have set up outside. We'll walk through. The boys are going to try to win a bunch of free shit and about to get some food. But I'll start off on saying why NASCAR tops most sporting events is you can bring your own beer in, you can bring your own food. I left everything in the vehicle right now, but I'll have everything in a little bit and I'll show you guys. Right. Things is now the boys are getting some uh, some free watermelon. They got tons of stuff to pass. We just out. did the little O'Reilly survey, so let's see what we got in this damn bag. Like a little. Sticker. The Riley sticker. That's uh, a little. Is that a magnet? Oh, that's yeah, a magnet. magnet uh, little pad. Some a uh, beer koozie and a pencil. And people doing white people shit. Huh, Jax? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you can't beat it, man. There's always free shit. They got little mobile bars. They got all kinds of old ass cars set up. They got tons of free shit and games. They do usually have a Crown Royal booth that you can get free shots of Crown Royal. Obviously you gotta show an ID, but uh, there's a ton of these free spins things. Uh, you just gotta sign in, but honestly you just, it's there's emails that you gotta do. You just make up a fake email that's what I do. I have a fake Gmail that I've never checked once in my life. And I just do that. Crown Royal car. This thing is always a fucking beauty. But yeah, the Crown Royal booth where you can get free Crown Royal. Find that shit in a lot of other sporting events, all right? Free shit from the Marine Corps. We're going to pass on the fucking Air Force and the Army shit. We don't want that, do we? All right, so now we got the dude wipes area. Check these toilets out. Look at these things. What are their dude wipes? What are they? These are flushable wipes. There we Oh, we can hook up Uncle Matt and Aunt Jen with those for they have a camper. All right, there we and go. Our we, is Anthony Alfredo. Anthony Alfredo. Easy to have a couple extra beer koozies from the Maltry Mobile. Another thing they got, they got like little things you can race little cars over here. And then another one right here. They got tons of stuff set up for kids. Uh, this whole indoor, air, not indoor area, but tented area has a uh, bunch of racing stuff for kids, remote control cars, and then it has like a couple Xboxes hooked up for kids to just play, and it's all in a shaded area, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. My boys aren't doing it, we're just sort of walking around. We're about to actually get some food. We're gonna look for something fattening. We just ended up getting some chicken fingers and fries. So they got a ton more shit inside. This is just outside. 90% of the time, we don't even buy any food here because we burn our own stuff. But we're just sort of doing like a halfway NASCAR experience for everybody, so. Yep. And this was, I think, 14 bucks for, I think it was four pieces of chicken and a bunch of fries. Back in the van, we got the AC on. Uh, We've got a bag full of all kinds of different free stuff, but I wanted to explain something that we always get every time we come to the track. Flip the flag around, Jackson, you nerd. All right, Jace, go ahead. Okay, so every time we go to a race, uh, an event, or stuff like that, we always get pens for the like race. So, stuff. yep, the, the race pen will be, it'll have the date on it and everything. We always get football, any football games we go to, anything we go to. So the boys have a cork board and they have those put up there. And then I always get the magnet for the race also. And then Jackson, what do we got over there? So every time we go to a racing event and anybody that we bring, we have them sign their name on like one of the parts and then put their driver's number and whoever wins the race, they get the flag. Well, the whoever's game. driver does the yeah, best. Yeah, Not every driver yeah. that we come here as Whoever's a fan. Whoever's driver gets highest on the leaderboard. And then also what I wanted to show everybody is so I always take in a backpack like this and this is something that I make for festivals and also for NASCAR so NASCAR allows you to bring in stuff so I do sausage wraps and then burger wraps and then basically you can take in a cooler like this 
I got my hard cooler in a vehicle, but you can pack this bitch full of beer, full of water, full of food, whatever the hell you want, and they don't give a shit. And you could do one of these per person. For this, I just need one for us, but other than that, like, no shit, if you came with 10 people, you could pack 10 of these full of fucking beer and just get fucking schmishmammered and not have to pay for shit. I got snacks, all kinds of stuff, but food-wise, you don't ever have to pay for anything when you go inside. You can bring all your own food. So we're checking out our seats. This is Darlington. So here's the thing with NASCAR. The higher up your seats are, the better. Because as you can see, you can see the whole freaking track. We're at the piercing M section, row 37. Seats six, seven, eight, and nine. These guys parachuting in America. It's pretty nice though. And to perform long aerial demonstrations in support of Army public relations and recruiting. As these jumpers make it to the landing area, this will conclude our performance for the day. On behalf of the entire team, I would like to thank each and every one of you for being such a glory. There we go. Oh, <laughs> 